Welcome back, everyone. My name is Dave. My name is Alex. And uh, we're going to be opening up a six pack today, but we are at a special event, a surprise for Alex. Mm -hmm. There's a building behind us. We're going to go in. What do you think the surprise is today, Alex? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Give me one good guess. Mm -hmm. The guess I don't know. I don't know. Well, I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised. Let's go inside and find out what it is. So here we are. We are at a cat competition. She's excited. Gotta get my stamp. Yo, and I'm pretty sure I'm appropriately dressed. Look at my fantastic shirt. So we're gonna take out, check out, check out, check out some of the cats here. Open up some packs afterwards, but uh, I'm pretty sure Alex was pretty surprised about that. She look at that donut. She gets a donut too. Nom nom nom. Now let's go check out some cute kitties. And here we're gonna start off with some short haired cats. <laughs> Look at this guy. His face is so funny. Oh, and a little sneeze. Bless you, kitty cat. Oh yeah, I remember this cat. She was so soft. And that's a real cat. She is trained just to lay there to be petted. Oh, yeah, this cat looks like it's hairless, but it has really curly tiny hairs. Super cute. Oh, hey there, cutie. Oh, that looks like one of our cats, Spazzy. Oh, Tuxedo Band. What's up, buddy? Oh, look at you. You're so strong. You're very, oh, you're a very strong kitty. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty cat. But look at that face. It's like a midnight face. Oh, but I do want to just touch her. I want to pet that cat. She's so fluffy. So they're evaluating all the traits of the cats. And I guess that's how they do it. You really have to be um, a long-standing cat competition person to get into these cat competitions. Oh, he looks like a lynx almost. Look at him. Oh, oh. <laughs> I wonder if that cat feels like, I'm flying. <laughs> I'm flying. Oh, there's another tuxedo long-haired kitty cat. He's got like a interesting nose. And by nation, what cat show wouldn't be complete with a little bit of WWE flair? Oh. Ooh. He's a big, oh, that's a big boy. I like the big cats. They remind me of big dog, well, tiny dogs. And I can't have dogs, because I'm not a good dog parent, but I love kitty cats. Oh, now he was the biggest cat there. Now that's a big Maine Coon for you right there. Ooh, so pretty. I think he won some of the competitions. Oh, there's that little, um, like Siamese fluffy kitty cat and just circle face. Oh, she didn't like that. Yeah, all this WWE stuff is so funny. Oh, hey Alex. Oh, short hair, sphinx looking cat. Oh, oh, she likes that feather, huh? She's the one that sneezed. Oh, now this is the calico. This is my partner's favorite type of cat. She loves calicos. And this one has quite the interesting, um, coat and it's so playful look at it, it i ch i was wondering what was making noise and then i looked over and this cat was just like i want whatever this pink stuff is out here give it to me mm, i want it so bad <laughs> she's not giving up so funny so cute oh uh, i love cats all right folks so now i'm back at the house and that cat competition was pretty nice i got to cut a uh, pet all the fuzzy and cuddly kitty cats but it did smell like cat. Now, I'm going to show you some more cat videos and these are of my six cats. I'm going to show you a video clip and tell you their names and give you a little synopsis of them and then show you some more um, personality clips before we actually open up some cards. So let's do that right now. The first cat is... Oh, so this is Siren. She's one of our oldest cats. She's the sweetest one. Um, when it comes to wanting affection. She was the first cat I've ever met of my partners and she warmed up to me right away. Um, she always wants attention and she's really good at hopping up high, but she loves doing this little kneading stuff. She's super cute, but man, she has some stinky poops. I'll say that much. Oh, yeah, and this is one of my favorite pictures of Siren. Okay, so this is uh, my partner's favorite. Uh, Tiffany really likes her. Uh, Tiffany really likes her cat, and that's what who this cat is. And this cat is 
Taz. Okay, that's the, the name. So she's really sweet. She took a long time for me to get warmed up. Well, her to get warmed up to me. But she really has taken a liking to me. She still loves her mama more. But she's such a beautiful calico cat. Really, really pretty kitty cat. Oh, and this is my favorite picture of her. Look how elegant. She's so photogenic in this picture. Oh, oh and this is our cat Skit. You wonder why she's called Skit? Well, for that reason, I can't get close to her. She doesn't really like me too much because she's super shy. There she goes. Now, this is her son, Kuda. He is getting up there, too. He's got a few health things going on, but he is a very nice cat, and he's very talkative, too. Hey there, Kuda. Oh, this isn't the cat. How'd that get in there? What the heck? And this, guys and gals, is Spaz. She is one of my favorites as well. She's very tolerant. She might cry a little bit when uh, she wants to go away, but that's pretty much it. She'll tell you she's uncomfortable, but she won't do anything about it. She's very fluffy, isn't she? She's so fluffy. Such a cute kitty. Bye, Spazzy. Now, my favorite of all, this one, but well, her name is Miko. This is my little parrot shoulder cat. We have been raising her since she was just a few weeks old. Unfortunately, her mama passed away when she was young and uh, there was a bunch of kittens that needed a home. And I just lost my favorite kitty, Ganny. But now, I have a fantastic replacement in Miko. She loves things like jumping into tubes, jumping on my shoulders when I least expect it, and clawing at the bottom of my door when I'm trying to film stuff. But this one right here is just the most fantastic cat I've ever had in my life. Oh yeah, so look at these tiny little kitty cat pictures of my Miko. Oh, she is so tiny. And she had a fervor for eating milk. Oh, now these are my favorite pictures of Miko. She's super photogenic, isn't she? Ah, yeah, I have a favorite. Oh, and this is Miko getting up in your personal space. She has no self-awareness for personal space. Now this one here, she thinks she's all the way in the tunnel. Well, news for you, kitty cat. <laughs> you are not. She's getting big. She's eating a lot of food lately. She's become a chunkers. Okay, this happens when you eat tuna, yogurt, or anything that has a fragrant smell. You get all these cats in here. Oh, look at these two uh, kitty fluffy kitty kitty cats. Oh, I love these two. Oh, this is a funny video. Oh, where'd she go? Okay, so yeah, um, this kitty cat uh, treat is something you put on the wall. I bought it, and of course, Who's gonna rush to it? Our biggest cat, who loves food the most, Miko. She just really took a liking in the, to this uh, little treat. The other cats didn't really like it too much, um, but Kuda wants to find out what it is. He's interested, he's waiting his turn patiently, but I don't think Miko's gonna be out uh, there anytime soon. Oh, okay, so this happens every day. Miko. Um, wants to get in my room and I built a routine with her for a lot of different things like getting on my shoulders as you can see and this one she just wanted to be on my chest one day when I was um, laying down on my floor and she walked up and ever since uh, then this has happened I petted her really nicely and I continue to do that every time she walked on my chest and consistency um, is key uh, I got a little fur in my mouth there. She really likes this, and this is like her morning routine. She has to have this done. And it, when I really give her a good scratch, she starts to drool on me, which you're going to see happen here. And I'll oh, bet that's where it is. Okay, yeah, she drooled all over me. She does it almost every time. But uh, that's our favorite time in the morning. Oh, there you go, a little jumpy. <laughs> Oh yeah, these guys are the ones who get along the most. Spaz and Miko, they are the only ones that can really, really play fights and not get into serious fights. Alright guys and gals, now this is the portion of the video where we're going to open up Pokemon cards. So if you're here just for cats, well there's not going to be much more. I'm probably going to try to sneak in just a little bit more because as you can see, I love cats. I like dogs too, but I'm not a really good uh, dog parent, so I settled on, you know, being a cat parent. I can clean out some litter boxes and throw some food down here and there. Cats take care of themselves basically and you get the fu fuzzy little cuddles and I took care of Miko at a very young age so I can kind of cuddle her like a dog and the rag dog doll breed I think that's kind of what she is. She's a ragamuffin. They're kind of floppy so I get the best of both worlds. So this is actually a debut of uh, Sword and Shield. I accidentally opened up the pack and didn't hit record 
um, but uh, this is round two. So what I got in this little three pack here in their OG Sword and Shield packs, uh, I got this little coin. I got this cool um, Galar uh, pony top, very cute. It looked like cotton candy to me. And I have two packs of, um, what is it, Rebel Clash. Uh, yeah, here they are, they got mixed up. So I got two Rebel Clash, and then I got three of the OG. Now I'll be giving out all the code cards. Only take one or two, please. Um, and uh, we're just gonna get to it. This is the debut of any of the uh, Sword and Shields. I've never opened them up uh, before. Uh, now I have been taking a hiatus from Pokemon cards um, lately. Now I will be releasing videos. There are a lot of backlog videos. Uh, again, I wasn't able to really um, do a lot of editing, so I just had to keep a lot of film. So I'm gonna be releasing a lot of them and spicing it up a little bit here and there with some of these new openings. So I'm gonna open up this first pack here. Um, I'm having some trouble here, so I'm gonna key first it. All right, and I think the, uh, the card trick's probably gonna be four, right? And then we'll do a shiny check. So uh, the code card is this right here. So it's one, two, three, four. And then the shiny check, I'm gonna say it's gonna be electric because I love electric. So, uh, no, it's a quick ball. I like the quick ball though. Okay, so uh, electric energy, but uh, not shiny. Rhyhorn, oh, so I'm gonna get a little bit closer here so I can see. Uh, all right, all the gross. Oh, air balloon, Krabby, a uh, Q-Font, yeah, ball to toy, S uh, Saladit. Oh, we just got her, but in shiny form. Okay, see what? But what was this? Oh, okay, so cool. We got the doggo here. Um, what, was I even on camera? Oh, so these are the cards. Uh, I'm, I'm bad at this. I'm rusty, guys. All right, so this is the uh, rare we got. This is a hollow, nothing too spectacular, but you know, still cool. All right, so we're gonna go with the next pack. I pre-opened this one up here. Uh, just kind of set it down. I don't know why I did that again. I'm rusty, guys. Uh, you know, give me uh, some slack here. So here's the code card. Take it if you want it. And one, two, three, four, shiny check out the door is going to be grass. I feel grass. No, but it's a really cool energy. So uh, there we go. And we got this. Um, <laughs> we get the we got the energy check. Uh, if if Leonhart were to see this, he'd be like, "Oh man, you're really good at doing the energy check." But he's that's trademark. We don't do that. We do the chi shiny check, which is uh, you know could be trademarked as uh, you know kind of close to it. All right. So um, then we have Blip Bug. I have a shiny one of him in the game, and a Rhyhorn. What we got here? Oh, okay, nice. We got a full art. Doesn't have any texture, um, but it's Cramorant. This guy is kooky. He spits out a Pikachu in the actual game. Okay, that's in, that's the uh, the biggest pool we've gotten so far. All right, so the last one for Sword and Shield, we'll do right here, and the code card. One, two, three, four. Shiny check is. I'm gonna say colorless. I feel like a colorless Pokemon this time. Nope, it's Mudbray. Okay. Uh, okay, it's dark energy. Uh, let me focus up some uh, okay. cloister, not cloister, for Kingler. Uh, Rhydon. Oh, Machiko. All right, so, and then we got Sobble. Blip bug, we've seen them again. Oh, we got two different ball toys. Why would they do two different art of ball toys? Okay, oh, Wulu and, uh, okay, Morpico. And that's the rare, ah, okay. So now we're gonna get to the two packs of the Clash. Hopefully we can get something really good. We've got some decent ones there, nothing spectacular, but this is fun to open up new packs here on the channel. Here's the code card for everyone who wants it. All right, so one, two, three, four. I'm saying I'm gonna go electric again. I'm doing okay, so um, no, it's psychic and Clefable is a psychic in the set. Okay, well, fighting, all right, and a lumbre, hatrim, curse shovel. I have a shovel, and he's my best friend. I love my shovel, I shovel all the time, guys. If you haven't checked out the um, the video, if it hasn't isn't out yet, about the garden and poking up Pokemon cards. Uh, that's coming out soon, or if, you, if it's already out, you should go check it out. It's cool. All right, Mr. Mine, I like his alternate form, and we got the big full art of him, but nothing. There, guys. Okay. Let's see if we can pull out one 
right here guys now it's been fun um doing pokemon card videos in the past i just had to take a little bit of a break and if you haven't watched another videos i've been doing a lot of controller videos for um the w switch code card there we go uh, all right and uh, i i really love doing those videos i plan to do video pokemon video pokemon card videos here and there but uh you know I think we're going to take a bit of a shift to a different area here and there. So it just kind of varied up. Do stuff that I like and hopefully you like it too. All right, shiny check is, um, I'm going to say water. I'm thinking blue. Mm, no. Oh, there it is. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Was he the rare? No. Okay. Farfetch. Okay. Gallon farfetched. All right, fighting. And then this one is full heal. And that one is training cord. We're a little bit slower on this last pack. Double blade. Applin. I like Applin. Shiny form is awesome. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is Dharma Dharmata. I, I can never get him. Okay. Funnel bit by and a Vulpix. What do we got here? Oh, Inteleon. Texture. Oh, okay. I don't know how much of that's worth but the, what about that let's pull guys what about that how about that i mean it's pretty good okay check that out all right so i'll end on that note guys thank you so much i uh appreciate you visiting today's video and visiting all the kitty cats with us today and uh, until the next time i see you i've been dave here on game vine have a great rest of your day and a great time with all of you play bye